In today's video, we're gonna take a look at some amazing projects that were made using Blender. These projects showcase the strength and capabilities of the new Blender features and updates. For example, we have anime-like projects, car animation projects, cinematic renders, short animation films, and much more. So without further ado, let's jump right in. Do you like car animations? If you do, then you will enjoy this animation a lot because it is one of the best 3D car animation scenes I have seen in a while. The animation is made by the YouTuber and artist Daniel Versterbike, who has some tutorials related to animating vehicles. And to make this project, he took inspiration from the 180 drift in the movie Baby Driver. To make this project, he used Blender and also his add-on which is called Launch Control, which allows you to easily animate cars inside Blender. And if you are interested, you will find the necessary links in the description. Generally speaking, the 180 drift was the highlight of the video because it was perfectly executed. And I especially like how the camera cut matched the car animation perfectly. Now, if you like mobile games, you probably have heard about Genshin Impact, which is one of the most popular video games. And in today's video, we have this cool animation which was inspired by the game. The project is a 3D anime style animation that was created by Dilongo Studio using Blender and their own internal tool called the Go Engine, which is a Blender add-on that allows you to create cool 3D anime projects. The tool is actually publicly available and you can get it through the link down below. The story of this animation revolves around two characters from Genshin Impact, which are Albedo and Raiden. The cyberpunk theme in this project made the environment very appealing to me. Also, the character design and modeling were done really well. The sound effects were spot on and the animation was decent. However, not everything about this project was perfect and I believe that there were many areas that needed some improvements, such as facial expressions, which looked too basic and failed to express feelings. Also, the compositing and lighting weren't well done because sometimes they look too bright compared to the environment. Additionally, I would have preferred if they added more 2D effects, which would have made the environments much more interesting. Overall, the animation and project was decent and I enjoyed watching it. And if you are interested in this kind of stuff, I think you will find this interesting. Before we continue, let me tell you about Skillshare which is a platform that has thousands of classes around a variety of different topics. And if you want to learn 3D animation and modeling and stuff, there are hundreds of classes about animation, drawing, illustration, and several other creative fields. And if you are, for example, interested in learning cinematic animations, just like this one, we have for you guys this class taught by Sam Bugaria, who will show you the entire process of creating scenes such as these in Blender following a step-by-step -step guide in which you will learn the workflow of creating cinematic animations through different entire steps. This includes various topics such as modeling, lighting, animation, rendering, and more. Most importantly, it is beginner-friendly and anyone can join it and start learning now. And the good thing is, it is affordable because to access all these amazing classes, you just need to pay per month less than what it will cost you to get just one class somewhere else. So the first 1000 people to click the link in the description will get a one month free trial of Skillshare Premium Membership. Now back to the video. Yuchiro Ogino has taken Twitter by storm again when he published his incredible random inspired animation which is a follow up to what he showcased last year. The project looks perfect and it has almost no flaws in it, from what I can see. I mean, it has smooth animations, beautiful shading, well-balanced lighting, and a good environment. And the compositing was a cherry on top, because it gave it that old anime look. And as Yuchiro stated, rigging was the most challenging part of this project, because it took him around 4 months to finish it, I mean only working on Ranma, while the animation only took a few days. I personally liked how he implemented and animated the smears which gave more to the character when it comes to animation. Generally speaking, the project was done almost entirely inside Blender. So he used the grease pencil for the 2D smears 
and line art to generate the outlines. Another project we have on today's video is this one from the artist Nikita, who created this impressive short film which was inspired by the game Fallout A Hollow Flame. Nikita stated that he worked on this project for a long time and that it took him a lot of time to complete it, maybe years, who knows. He also claimed that he used a variety of software to complete this project, but he used Blender as the main software for modeling and wrapping, environment and procedural textures, in addition to rigging, animation and rendering. In addition to that, he used Substance Painter to texture objects, and iPySoft and Kinetic360 were used for motion capture, and Krita was used for the design of the logo and the emblems. The project looked great, especially for color grading and compositing, which were done using DaVinci Resolve, and the environment also was well made and very detailed, to a certain extent of course, keeping in mind that it was made by only one person. On a side note, there were some areas that needed more attention in this project, such as the walking animation, which wasn't that great, because the character looked like it was sliding on the ground rather than walking, and this is also known as foot sliding, which is a popular problem that animators face often. But overall, the final project looked decent, and I liked it a lot. Another cool short film we have for today's video is called Little Orange, made by the artist Joshua Whitney. The main character of the short film is clumsy, but a clever little robot who wakes up on a worn torn ship populated by hostile android forces and sets out to understand what's going on and prevent the disaster. The short film's art style is somewhat sci-fi-ish and futuristic, which I like a lot. So generally speaking, it was a good short movie because the plot was that good. The robot animation, lighting and materials are what I like the most about this short film. However, I believe the compositing and visual effects could have been a lot better, and I also believe that the environment could have used some fog to add some drama to the scenes. If you like horror games and movies, you will like this next project because it is a horror short film made with Blender. The protagonist is a psychopath who enjoys eating unusual foods like brains, human body parts, and of course watermelons. The environment looks like it is from a game, and I actually wish that a horror game has an environment just like this one because it looks great. I like the fog in the environment because it made it scary, but also kind of realistic because we don't usually see heavy fog inside houses in real life. The camera animation was also good, but I think it could have used some more shaking to reflect more fear. Generally speaking, this project was great, and I think you will find it interesting. So if you want to take a look at the full project, you will find all the necessary links in the description. I hope you guys found this project entertaining and inspiring. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.